First at 10, will Providence Place Mall shut down? That's the question many people are asking tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kayla Fish. The questions come after Target 12 revealed a judge ordered the mall to be put into receivership, which is the state level version of bankruptcy. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez goes over what that means and how people are reacting to the news. Alex. Providence Place Mall is the place to be and hang out to many people I spoke with, which is why they were surprised to hear that the mall's future is now up in the air. I hope Providence Place doesn't close yeah, down, we'll basically. Pray. <laughs> we'll pray. Pray. <laughs> Shoppers and trick-or-treaters in shock after hearing the Providence Place Mall is now under receivership. That's after the mall's management company failed to pay a multi-million dollar loan back in May, despite being given an extension. The U.S. Bank National Association's attorney says they owe $259 million plus costs and fees. The group now wants another firm to step in and work with a court-appointed attorney to, quote, develop an operating budget. But the court order also allows lenders to speak to a real estate broker about selling the property, a real possibility, according to Johnson & Wales professor Tim Howes. The lenders want to get back as much money as possible, and so they're looking to take control of that asset so that they can best manage it. And so the first thing they're going to want to do is decide, is operating the mall as an ongoing entity worth more than liquidating it and selling it off? the way it is. For Howes, the probability of selling becomes even higher if current stores like Macy's and Apple decide to leave. That's almost like kiss of death right there. A spokesperson for Mayor Brett Smiley says, quote, the mayor believes that Providence Place needs to adapt to changing market conditions, pointing to other malls that have been turned into mixed use developments and other new commercial space. And though many community members don't want to see the mall go, they hope the area isn't turned into luxury apartments and kept as an open space to go to. That's my hope, just a, a community space where folks can, like, I don't know, benefit from it and not necessarily have to be related to purchasing something. Despite the court order, there's been no immediate changes to the mall's management and a third party receiver has yet to be appointed. Now, we did reach out to the mall's management group for a comment, but have yet to hear back. Reporting in Providence, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.